Hello and welcome back to another Glamour preview video with Mimioni for Final Fantasy XIV. This is continuing our look at dungeon gear that's located in the Shadowbringers dungeons. This gear set is from a level 79 dungeon, Mount Gulg. I hope you like the World of Darkness sets because these are recolors. Fending first, as you can see they decided to go with the simple colour scheme here. The original had red, silver and black lining, whereas this set has this nice black and bright sort of brassy gold lining. It looks really cool and as recolours go, generally this is how to best do something justice, return to a previous gear set and make it look much cooler and give it a different option. This was always one of my favourite tiers of armour, World of Darkness in particular provided so many nice glamour pieces over the years that I used in creations and I still use them all the time today. So in general I'm pretty happy with this one and it's a pretty good choice of palette for the recolor. Maiming next and this shares some elements of design from the fending set as the original did as well. The recolor here featuring a bright blue crystal at the waist and obviously the original demon maiming set was black and brass lining. This then is much brighter and the lining is closer to a gold or sort of light brass color. I always adored the maiming set, spiky metal sections always immediately scream dragoon to me and I feel that some of that has probably been lost a little bit over the years on some of the more recent Dragoon sets, so it's nice to have a revisit to this one. The overall look of this gear is quite fresh and I would personally use pieces of this set for sure in a future glamour. Striking now, and this was actually always my least favourite design from the Demon sets. The boots are particularly awesome though, and so are those legs, but the chest never really won me over for some reason. Perhaps it was just because of that singular pauldron and the exposed stomach. I didn't really think it sort of matched together with the rest of it. The headdress fabric attached to the rear of the horn circlet clips horribly, as it always did with the original, if you have anything but the shortest hair in the game, so bear that in mind before you use it. It's a nice bright recolor and I always enjoyed the gold and black as a color scheme in general. Aiming? Well, what a set. I mean, just look at this. The chest is fantastic with that beaded section on the bottom right. The hat is very stylish. What immediately shouts bard to me is a massive hat with feathers, and this was always the go-to hat for my bard in particular. The recolor is nice, again with the black and gold trim theme, bringing out elements of the original design that became somewhat invisible with that original concept. And those boots finish the whole thing off quite nicely. It's one of the best demon sets and in this case one of the best Mount Gorg sets in my own opinion. Scouting then with the replication of what we saw previously with the striking set, it's pretty much the same outfit just recolored again. Its small differences are quite nice but the colour scheme is a little flat in my opinion. It feels like striking gets the better overall look from these pieces. It would have been nice to see something a bit different with this set but I guess they just recolored it as much as they could and they didn't want to basically do the same colour scheme for both sets so yeah unfortunately I think striking definitely got the better version this time around. On to healing, I cannot tell you for how long I've run the original demon robe and hat combo and that skirt, I've used it a thousand times before in various glamour setups over the years. This dark recolor then is frankly brilliant. I love this set to death with all of the little details. The use for all of these parts in the outfit are endless and I'm very, very happy that we got a dark recolor. The whole thing just looks stunning. The only thing I would have personally done differently here would be to use gold trim instead of silver, but that's a very minor sort of personal choice and doesn't take away from the outfit's clean and now very dark look. Very cool indeed. And finally casting, sharing similarities to the healer outfit then, the original demon casting stuff was this sort of navy blue dark colour with purple feathers on the hat. This recolor then has a darker main body colour which is closer to black, but keeps some of the navy blue in the robe's actual detailing and stitching. The hat's feathers are red topped and you have this brass trim on the whole thing throughout. The only difference with the boots is that the metal is a silver colour rather than the original's 
was gold, whereas that fastening string was originally red as well, so that's not really changed either. It's an alright looking recolor, but it isn't as drastic of a colour change than the other sets, and it probably would have benefited with a bit of originality. If they were going to do opposites or mirror sort of gear sets to the source, then I would have probably made the Caster 1 a bright colour scheme in contrast rather than keeping it similar to the original, perhaps even giving casters a white robe. Yes, I know, scary things. Either way, let me know below what you think of Mount Gorg's gear recolours, and I'll see you all next time.